I kind of take my whole house with me when I go. I'm very much a, I like to be comfortable while I'm there and not miserable away from home. I like to make my station my home. Um, so the only thing that I think is not laid out is my food, which I'm going to do another video about in some point in time. <laughs> but for right now, I'm gonna go over my clothes and my uh, toiletry bag and then my bedding so this is my computer bag it's just a simple laptop bag um, I have extra pins because you never know when you're gonna need pins I have extra pair of glasses because I have my main pair but I could lose those at any point inside I have my charger with my box for my phone my charger for my Apple Watch, and I have a pair of headphones that are wireless for when I go running on shift, and then I have one for when I'm just sitting there and plugging them in. Then I have my laptop charger with extra long extension so it can reach all the way across the station. And inside I have my planner because if I did not write things down, I would never get things done. My husband is peeking through in the hallway right here. That's good to cut out. I also have my planner because if I didn't write this down, then I would never get things done. I have my school workbook because I have to keep track of all the calls I go on while I'm in school, all my vital signs from those calls and everything because I'm finishing up paramedic school. I have my folder with more school stuff in it. Yay. My laptop, which I have an Apple. And I have ah, Jack Skeleton on the back. And then, of course, on the front, I have my EMS. More, more vitals for school. <laughs> and Steelers. Go Steel Nation. Um, then I have a clipboard so that I can write things and do things while I'm sitting on the couch and not have to get up and get at the desk. I also have um, markers because I like things color coordinated. I have two books for me to read, one of which is Harry Potter, which I'm reading with the kids. So when they can, when I'm not on calls, they'll FaceTime me and we'll read that. And then I'm also doing videos for them of me just reading a book so that they can just watch that on their own time when they want to. So that is my computer bag here. And I also have extra hair twisties on the side, I guess. I don't know. Ah, let me put this back. All right, so that's bag one. Bag two is an old army rucksack. Both my parents are army. Um, so at the station we have twin beds. So I have, let me turn this around. I have my comforter that's rolled up and my sheet here, which are both white so that I can bleach them. If I get in bed in my uniform or anything, I want to not bring that home and get it all over the place. I like being clean. Um, so I have that. And then I have my Steelers fleece blanket that I bring with me that I use on the couch and in the bed because we keep the station real cold. And then I have my pillow. Because I like my pillow. And I don't want to be pillowless. So, um, also in here I have some crystal light packages for drinking the water. And 
and that's it. And this stuff. I'm gonna shove all this back in here. This was actually our EMS week gift last year and uh, it's got some little pockets inside here along the top of it and then on the front and in this I shove a lot of stuff in this too. Toothbrush and toothpaste, hairbrush, a donut so that I can do this with my hair. I have shampoo and conditioner. I have shampoo and conditioner and face wash at my main station, but sometimes I get bounced around or doing overtime. I have some with me if I move and I don't have to lug that back and forth with me. Body spray. And then I have my RNH acne face wash treatments. I have bobby pins. Those go in the front. This is a little bit overboard. You don't have to take all this with you. I have people and I've had partners that show up in their uniform with a blanket and food. Sometimes no food. And they survive the two days. It just depends on how you are, how comfortable you are. And it took me a while to kind of figure it out, feel it out, and see how I liked to travel. Uh, I have my concealer, mascara, eyeliner. I very rarely put makeup on when I'm in on shift, but sometimes I feel like it. Powder, setting powder. Uh, I have some acne moisturizer. Eyebrow still. Chapstick. I have two things mint or cherry. Vix. I keep this with me for those yummy smells that sometimes happen on the truck. So I usually put this in here and then we'll take it with me. And then in these two little bottles, this one is 90% alcohol and this one is a couple drops of tea tree oil and alcohol for boots. It helps with the bacteria and the things that are in the boots, especially when you've been running calls all day long and your feet start to smell because, let's get real, the leather boots don't breathe that much. So you can spray the alcohol in there and the tea tree just kind of helps get everything out. Uh, feminine products more feminine products, deodorant, hair clip, makeup sponge, and a headband for when I wash my face or just if I need these little wispies that I have out of my face. I can put this on. Alright, that is it for this one. All right, next I have my big bag here, which is my duffel bag. Kind of see. This was our Christmas gift from Waller, which was amazing. I love it, I use it every shift. So the thing that I like the most about it is it has this little shoe pocket right here. Can you kind of see? And so I can put my running shoes in here. And then my slippers that I wear around the station because I don't like walking around the stations in my socks. And those go on top of my running shoes. And now I don't have to worry about my shoes being all gross. 
and I can keep them with my clothes. And they go with me to every station, so it works. All right, now for the fun part. So I have a heating pack because sometimes my lower back hurts or my shoulder. I got thrown off a horse when I was younger and I hit my shoulder on the six by six and every now and then it just flares up and starts hurting, so heating pack. Um, I bring multiple sports bras because like I said, I work out on shift, so I have my running shoes, I have sports bras, and it's always good to have an extra change of clothes because you never know what you're gonna get into. We have um, encountered bed bugs before, which means you get to strip everything and wash it in hot water. And if you don't have an extra uniform, kind of sucks because then you have to take yourself out of service until all your stuff is washed and that makes supervisors very unhappy. Um, so extra changes of clothes, extra, extra sports bras, underwears for every day that you're there, plus an extra. I have two pairs of running pants. And then I have my uh, t-shirts that we wear so that people can see when I'm running. If I'm running in the daylight, I have EMS on the back and they can see me. And also if we are doing our workout time, instead of wearing our polos on calls, we're allowed to show up in our t-shirts so that we're not getting our polos super wet and sweaty as well as our t-shirts. So I have those. I have my vest for if my run doesn't make it until night so that people can see me. It has reflective strips on it. Socks, again, one for each day and then an extra pair. And I'm kind of quirky when it comes to socks. So these are horsey ones. These are ones like super stripes and bright and funky. Nobody sees them unless you take your shoes off. So. My partner is seeing them at the station. And these ones are stripes with letters on them. I have my extra polo here. My extra pair of pants. I wear true spec pants. I like them. The only thing I don't like, which I'll talk about when I get to my other pants, is that they don't have Velcro pockets or a pocket that I can just stick stuff into automatically they're all or they have velcro pockets but no just open pocket like scrub pants kind of have an open where you can kind of stick stuff in there these don't have that you have to close the velcro and stuff but that's okay because I like the way they fit I have a towel for showers and washing my face and everything else I keep bands in here different small medium and heavy for uh, workouts. If it's raining outside and I can't go out and run, I can do that or do my bay workouts if you've seen any of those that I've posted. Um, let's see. I'm zip that up. It's a little front pocket right here where I keep those. Um, so like I mentioned, we keep our station super cold. We try to keep it 70s, between 60s and 70s, wear like polar bears. Uh, so I have a long sleeve kind of light shirt that I wear. I don't like getting on the couch and in the bed with my uniform that I just went on calls with. Even if it was super simple and it was a very non-dirty patient, non-touching, the ambulance is still gross to me. Even if we scrub it down and clean it, ugh, it's still gross. Um, so I don't like sitting on the couch with my shirt, touching it and everything. So. I usually will throw on a long sleeve shirt, which this is my FFA one that I accidentally bleached. It's okay, it's fine. Um, I have sweatpants that I put on when we get there. I'll take my work pants, I'll slip them off and put these on real quick. And it's real easy. Sweatpants are easier than doing something like leggings that are going to be closer to your skin. If you're wearing leggings, I would just slip your pants on over them. It's going to be a lot faster to do that than trying to wiggle out of your leggings and then wiggle back into your pants. Because when you get that tone, during the day you have like a two minute shoot time and at night I think it's three minutes. Or it's one minute and two minutes. 
you don't have a lot of time to sit there and take clothes off, put clothes on. That's why I put this stuff on top of my stuff or I just switch my pants real quick. Um, I have my jacket that we have. It's a 511. I think it's called a job shirt. Super comfy. If you can get one of these, do it. They're super soft inside. They have the reinforced elbows, so you're not gonna destroy and wear through those. Plus they have pockets here and right here. Love it. All right, so on the daily, what I have is my boots, which I have wrapped up because they were gross. So I have the ones with the zips on the side because again, it makes it easier and faster to get in the truck. And if your pants are over the top, sometimes I go on calls without zipping them up because it's not necessary. They stay on pretty well with just the ties. I keep them pretty tight. Um, these are Magnum. I got these on sale at Academy. I had really cheap ones from Walmart when I started out as an EMT and they were just, they were tight and they were falling apart. It was just not really comfortable for me. These ones, higher up, they go about right here on my leg. Really comfortable, really sturdy. I have trumped through mud and everything with them. The only complaint I have is that they're kind of falling apart and rubbing off at the toes. I don't know if that's me or if that's the boots or maybe a mixture of both. Um, so I always have my boots. And then I have my polo that we have to wear when we're there. And I always keep two pins. We have a little side pocket on it with two pins. So I have that. And then my 511 pants. So I don't have my belt on here right now, but I have a belt, which can also be used as a tourniquet if it needs to be. And let's see, on this side, which is my left side, in this pocket, I don't really keep anything major because I'm right-handed, so if I wanna grab something quick, it's easier for me to reach with my right than my left. The only thing I do is I keep $20 in this side pocket every shift, because you never know if you're gonna make it back to the station to eat what you brought with you. Sometimes it's a, you run five calls in a row, you're 10 hours into shift, and you haven't had anything to eat, and you're kind of getting grumpy or hangry, and your partner might be getting hangry, and hospital snacks only last you so far. If you have hospital snacks, some of the hospitals don't provide anything, except for maybe some sodas, and not even water. <laughs> so, or coffee, which is nice, but, they don't provide cream or sugar or anything else, or they only provide you sugar. Yeah. Um, so $20 in the side pocket, that's gonna get you something anywhere, pretty much, unless you were just trying to order some ginormous meal for yourself, which I don't recommend, because you never know what's gonna happen. Your next call drops. Um, so on my right side of my pants, I have my Raptors trauma shears. They're kind of awesome. I love them, they were a gift for my dad. Um, I have, they have a window breaker, which you can use this. They also have the ones that are spring loaded and pop. I think those work better. I don't think or anticipate me ever using the window breaker on here, but it's nice to have as a tool. I also have a seat belt cutter on the side. It also has an oxygen key on it. Um, obviously you use them as scissors and that's what they use them for most of the time anyways. And then they fold up into a nice little compact thing here and I just slide them on my pocket and then just right in my pocket. It took me a while to get used to buckling my seatbelt with them right here, but I like them right there. Uh, my radio goes in this little hole that's right here while I'm on shift. Uh, and I'm very much, I don't like not having gum. And so in this other side pocket where I keep money on the other side, on this side, I keep gum. Um, any important information and stuff that I may need kind of goes in here. I also have my coins somewhere that I got, EMS coins. Some people get them, some people don't. I got them during last year's hospital or uh, EMS week from one of the hospitals over here. They gave us a little coin and the whole thing is that if you don't have your coin with you, whoever doesn't have it has to buy lunch, I think, is what I was told, so I always keep it with me. It's either in this pair or it's in the other pair, actually. I don't feel it in this one. 
so I guess I'll buy lunch if you leave somebody asks. Um, so let me show you when I take my pants off at the station to switch in order to make sure that I get to a call pretty quickly, I'll keep my pants over my boots so that I can just take my slippers off and step into them. So I kind of feed them on so that it's really easy to just step in. It doesn't take any time at all because then I'm not having to do two things. It just kind of takes a little step out. Get it? Step in, step out. Alright. So there you go. All I gotta do is take my sweatpants off or keep my leggings on, pull them up, button them, go. And go get in the truck and then we'll be en route. So there is all of that fun stuff that I take with me to work. All three wonderful bags. I take a lot of extra stuff with me to work. This is definitely not needed for me to have to take all three of these bags, but I enjoy it. I feel like I'm at home when I'm there and I feel comfortable because I do take all this with me so I'm not out of my comfort zone for lack of better words. Um, anyways, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.